Hey, hey, hey there, everybody. Zelda Savior here, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we went through the Awakening Wood and swept through, collecting uh, the last above ground treasure and increased our blue numbers and preparations for future endeavors. We also have made it to sub level 5 of the Snaggered Hole. But that's not important now, is it? No, I'm just kidding. It's very important, friends. Very important. Anyway, we shall continue what we were doing since we, since we left off here. Oh! Ah! You bitch! Oh god, I hate- Oh, right off the episode, friend. Right off the episode. We're getting freaking ball orbs thrown at us. That's- It's gonna be rain and ball orbs. Hallelujah, it's rain and ball orbs. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's not a good thing. That's not a good thing, friend. It makes me sad. What? What? I, what the heck's going on with our treasure gauge down there, friends? It's all- It's all- It's- It's going bonkers down there, friends. It is going- b b b bonkers That was weird why I say things like that. Anyway, we will hopefully figure out why that is happening very soon and remedy it so that it does not stop us from completing this dungeon. Oh, more bob Oh, more bob -obs. Twice the bob of action! Come on, bob -obs. You don't deserve to live! That's what I'm on watch. We are not even using the glitch, because I don't feel like it right now. It takes too much time out of my day. It takes too- Oh, it's raining more bob -obs. Stop raining bob -obs. I do not want. Did I? Is it because I was saying hallelujah? Well. Oh! Oh, I said it again! Stop that now, this instant! Stop it! I said stop it! Whoa, what the hell is that? Whoa! What is going on with that guy? Anyway, this is a brand new enemy, friend. Unfortunately, I have. Actually, I do. I've not known the name of that enemy since I started playing Pikmin 2, or any of the Pikmin games for that matter. I have never known what the enemy is called. All I know is that he merely jumps off screen, will jump back on screen, and then proceed to do his little chirping thing, where he completely screws with your radar. But, as you can see, by killing him and his doomness, we return our radar gauge to normal. So, we can, we can, uh, I guess we can say we can conclude using our deductive reasoning and logic. Because we all know how much everyone loves logic. He was the cause of our troubles and our tribulations, I guess we could say. So, note taken. If you enter a dungeon floor and it is going all, your treasure gauge is going all wonkers on you, there is definitely one of those enemies there. I will probably post the name of him in a, um, an annotation or some sort of text so you guys can know for future episodes. And so I can know for future episodes so I can know, adequately know what to call those guys. But knowing me and my ability to remember names of enemies in this game, I will probably forget the next time I see one. Because there are going to be more of them in the future. The Emperor Whistle. Send trap pokos. We now broke the 9,000 mark. Less than not, less than 1,000 pokos to go, my friends. And you are carrying that marble back way too slowly for my liking. Hopefully there are no more dungeons, or there are no more dungeons on this floor. More ball orbs on this floor, oh good god! Ball orbs, ball orbs, go away. Come again another day. I don't want to deal with you. I'm tired. Anyway, I'm not that tired. Speaking of tired, I don't know, maybe you guys experienced this, but I don't think I've mentioned this in any of my videos, but it's always something that's bothered me, because I don't understand how it makes sense. So, I'm assuming at some point all of you guys get really tired during the day, like, randomly? Like, does that happen to you guys? Like, at 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you'll be like, oh, I'm so, I'm so tired, I'm just gonna go take a nap. I don't... I, I've never felt like that. Ever. I'm never tired at... If I, like, haven't done anything super physical, like, that makes me physically tired, I don't ever get tired during the day. I don't understand why people do that. Maybe you guys know. Maybe you guys do that. Maybe I- maybe- I'm not judging. Like, all my friends do it, too, and they say I'm weird for not taking naps. They tell me that you don't take naps, you're a weirdo. And I'm like, okay, I guess I am. Well, enough of that. This floor! This floor! Oh, this floor. This floor particularly bothers me immensely because it is a very troublesome floor. I- wait, what was I doing? I was checking numbers. Alright, we need more blues because I ran- I lost a couple from that snake. So we shall use the Queen Candy Pop Bud to replenish our blue numbers. Come here, blues. Oh, now we gotta wait for them to be blue again. But, as you can see, another one of those cricket enemy things that makes our radar go crazy. Um, 
I shall give those things a temporary name because I still don't know the name of them in this particular episode, but you guys do because I posted it. They are going to be called Radar Chirpers because they chirp like crickets and they make my radar go all wonky. So, Radar Chirpers it is until I figure the name out. But, knowing myself, like I said before, they will probably be known as Radar Chirpers for the rest of the, uh, for the, rest of the project because I am stupid. Anyway. Damn you, Radar Chirpers. Well, like I said, this floor is also very annoying. That's why! The thanks game for making my point very valid. This particular dungeon is filled with more Snaggerets. I believe there are two of them, like, in the third sub-level, I want to say so. And it rains bulb orbs! Isn't that just great? Isn't that just the best thing ever? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, stop, 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 stop. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna die in here! Well, there's you, there's the quick, there's the radar, Trevor. Oh, and there's the other sniper. Radar Trevor? Oh, one more thing to note out about the radar chirpers. Um, if Pikmin run into their radius of their chirp, as you can see, they get called to its side! Isn't that just great? Isn't that just really useful? I don't think it is at all, because I would like them back now, please. Can you leave? Can you leave? Like, actually? I was trying to- I was- Buddy! Buddy! I was just trying to make a point! Oh my god! No! 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 Ah! I lost one! No! I was just trying to make a point! You dick! Well, listen learn. Don't ever trust a radar chirper. Don't ever trust a radar chirper! They will betray you. I make you eat your words. Anyway. Oh, you bitches. Um... That's not pleasant. Anyway, these blues will break down that wall. Wow. Oh, what's going on here? Weird camera angles. I will have the whites assist in this endeavor. Give me the whites. You will insist in this endeavor. You will insist in this endeavor. That's what I said. Louis, you are going to take the brute squad out. Come on, brute squad. We got shit to do. We got bitches to mess up. We ruined his day now, didn't we? Alrighty. Um, well, this proves a problem. Anyway, let us clear some of the way, because uh, we do not want to get bothered by these, this treasure while we are duking it out to the death with our friendly, with your friendly local neighborhood, uh, Snaggert. Anyway. No, no! Oh my god. Ah, purples, come on. Work with me, man, work with me. Come on, you bastards. Okay, here we go. We're in. Alright. Snaggret! Snaggret, where are you? I challenge you to a duel to the death. But first, I'll be interrupted by this treasure. What is it? The stupendous lens. I don't care how stupendous you are, lens. You must be gone. Snaggret, I challenge you. Show your face. Or are you too cowardly to do so? Oh, there you are. You were not too cowardly. You actually scared the crap out of me. Hello there, friend. How are you? I all those those were empty threats. Those were empty threats. I did not mean any of those words. I I sprouted. Oh, and those were more empty threats. Oh, right. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go kill the radar chirper because he's gonna mess with me up. Because one of these snaggers probably has a treasure. And so if I kill him, oh, damn it! If I kill him, he will make it so that I can find. The treasure is a lot easier. Oh, there you are, Raider Trevor. Get out. Now come back so I can kill you. Raider Trevor. Raider Trevor. There you are. You bastard. Die. Die, die, die. Murder. 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 <laughs> oh, wait. Everybody has it going. Are you just sad because people don't think you're pretty? I think you're pretty. I think you're a pretty swell guy right there. Don't ya know? Don't ya know? <laughs> I think you're pretty swell. <laughs> Come on. Uh, do you want to be my friend? I just want to give you a flower, man. I just want to give you something. I want to give you a gift. Don't try to eat me. I just want to give you a gift. I just want to give you a gift. The gift of friendship, man. God, if you don't be my friend, just don't, don't... Don't stop attacking me. You're not being very friendly. You're being a jerk. You're just being a big jerk. And no one likes a big jerk. Except maybe a bigger jerk, that bigger jerk can be a jerk too. God 
you're your ah, screw you. I'm gonna go talk to your I'm gonna go talk to your friend. What are your what's your friend doing over here? Hey buddy. Oh <laughs> your friend is a lot more cooperative than you are. Your friend is a lot more cooperative than you are. Hey buddy, I just murdered your friend. How do you feel about that? Huh? Now I don't even want to be your friend. Oh, now that I've murdered your friend, you seem to be a lot more cooperative too. Oh, oh, isn't that just great? Isn't that just great? That was the grandest of grands. That was the grandest of grands. I do say so myself. Hey, hey, I just want to throw some white yellows over here to make some more whites. I just want to throw some yellows over here to make some more whites, you know. What's a, what's a guy drive? What's a guy gotta do around here to make some whites? What's a guy do, gotta do around here to make some whites? Oh! Damn it! Frickin' Blue Pikmin getting swept up in that nonsense. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? You're getting in my way. Dude causing havoc and mischief. Nobody likes Troublemaker. Not no one. Not even your mother. Don't see why you would like it in the first place. Alrighty. Now that we have cleared the uh, the floor of our snagger to amigos and amigets, let us uh, pave the way and collect some of the treasures that lie in the depths of this location. No, it's there. Right. there are two treasures right here. Hello, Louis. Thank you for defeating these snaggers for me. I'll be ever so grateful. No, what are you doing? Oh, oh. Okay, you're doing what I want you to do. Good, pick. good, pick. good. Pick. It's a good thing. Come on, boys. We ain't got all damn day. Tear down this wall. So I command it, and I don't know what else to do. Where's the exit? Hello? Exit? Where are you? There you are. And I believe that is it. I believe there is nothing of uh, significance left in the dungeon. Oh, oh that's, that's the wall of a... That is the... That is the wall of a wall. The wall and a wall and a wall and a wall. It's Wallception! The triple sugar threat. Ha ha ha. Believe that is more um familiar to the Japanese folk. I believe that is a Japanese snack. I do not remember what it is called, but I have seen it in the shows, in the videos, in the vids. You know, you know how the cool kids say in the vids, man. It's the way of the future, bro. Anyway. What do we have here? Dannon, fruit on the bottom. Same great taste. The saliva tricks. Ah. All of them must be a sucker for that yogurt. And there's more treasures to be found. Alright. Well, knowing the situation externally, it seems that there's a lot of water, so blues. You are getting your test run a little early. Let's we'll see how you handle this. I do not need you, lap la Lapis Lazuli. I finally remember what they were called, Lapis Lazuli. I do not need you. Or your friends. Oh, well, where's this? What? What? It's just three blah 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 like hand that's that, that is useless. Friends. That is useless! Useless to me! It is, it is useless to me. Actually, it's really not that useless to be honest. I could actually use that, but I don't have the patience for it right now. Oh, the, the, really? Oh my god, I didn't mean to go over there. That's just great. That's just oh. bloody great. Bloody. Why does everything gotta be bloody, man? Why can't it be happy? Oh, it's a cute treasure. It's a little 40 clover. That's adorable. I do not mind that. I do not mind that being the last treasure. However, what I do mind is, uh, no blue. No. Come on, friends. We gotta, we gotta work together so we don't kill each other in the process. White, you are faster than the rest. So you should be swiftly white. Swiftly. As fast as a coursing river. As strong as a great typhoon. And, uh, yeah. You might be a man someday. Anyway. Come. We must exit once you retrieve this treasure. Retrieve the treasure! Retrieve the treasure tenaciously! Young Tyke! Yeah. yeah. Science project! How wonderful. Do not believe that's a, that's a pretty bad science project, if I do say so myself, friends. It's not a very good one of that. You can just go find one of those outside. Turn it in to your teacher. Hey man, this is my science project. I did it. What do I get? Uh what's what Billy, what's what's the premise behind your project? Um um, uh, I went outside. I typically don't do that, so I guess that's close enough to science, but- FINAL FLOOR! <gasps> yeah! 
Yes, it appears we've made it to the final sub-level of the Snaggret Hole. Very quickly, if I do say so myself, this dungeon didn't really pose much of a threat. We did lose a couple people along the way, but nothing we couldn't handle, or replenish, or just grit our teeth and accept as fact. Alrighty. It's my friends. Now, we've met and killed uh, three Snaggrets of... Ooh, excuse me, I just ate. My food is telling me it's unhappy with itself. Anyway. We've met four Snaggrets and defeated three of them. Now, you're probably wondering why this dungeon is called the Snaggret Hole. And, um, you could probably say it was because of all the snaggers we encountered, but, um, I think this is a more accurate description of why it's called the Snaggert Hole. Meet the Pileated Snaggert! You thought burning snaggers were bad? These guys make them look like a uh, walk in the park. They are nasty, brutish bastards. I hate the Pileated Snaggert fights. They are very annoying. Very, very <laughs> annoying, if I do say something. Anyway. As you can see, unlike the burrowing Snaggert, he has a foot. Whoa, he has feet. Anyway, that makes him about 20 times more threatening than a burrowing Snaggert could ever hope to be. White Pikmin, get out of here, we don't want you. Louis, keep these guys safe. Because one thing that will happen if you do not pay attention is if you leave your Pikmin out close to the center of the arena, he'll hop right on over there and kill them. And that's certainly not a good thing, so. What you gotta do is you gotta lure him out and then run away. He will chase after you, but just keep running. If possible, try to get to one of these little alcoves. Um, these little alcoves will kind of hide him, hide your Pikmin and the captain from the Pileated Snagger, allowing you to make a clean getaway. And just like the Rogue Snagger, when he staggers his entry, attack him with everything you've got. As you can see, he is much, much, much tougher. Taking many more hits than the regular Burrowing Snaggard ever could take. We can kill Burrowing Snaggards if we're smart in one round of attack. And he is staggering like crazy right now. He's giving us many opportunities to kill him. Come on. Oh, that was, wow, that was, that was a wildly unsuccessful attack there, friends. <laughs> he is just being the most forgiving of bastards right now. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, one round, one more round, one more round. Oh, and he just happens to attack us this time. All right, and... Oh, this is bad. Now that he's knocked the fl fl flowers off our purples, he's gonna have all. Oh god. Oh god. Get purples. Purples! Come on, boys. Come on. Hide. There you go. Okay. Come on, boy. Show your face one last time. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there goes the battle. And right. Oh my god, <laughs> look how close it got to our ship. That's amazing, my friends. Oh my god. It's a Gundam! Or a Power Ranger droid. You've done it! That bad beast will trouble you no more. Processing. How curious. What's that impressive mechanized masterpiece? Indeed, it is beautiful. It is an enchanting piece of work. Let us see what we get from it. Ho ho! What do we have here? The Justice Alloy! How delightful! Zert! Does not compute. A metal this dense defies the fundamental laws of physics. And yet, if I use this to rework our president's treasured spacesuit. Processing complete. Fabrication of the Metal Suit Z is now concluded! This suit is extremely durable. Getting gnawed on or stepped on will now re produce minimal pain. Yes, my friends, the Justice Alloy makes it so that Olmar and Louis now take significantly less damage than they would before, which in some cases is very useful and allows our captains to be a little more durable, because the last thing you ever want happening in a dungeon is to have a captain die. It's happened to me on past playthroughs of this game. Trust me, friends, it is a nightmare to have to deal with. Only having one captain in this game, they made this game knowing that you could multitask. They really, really did. I have never played Pikmin 1 before, but I can imagine it's not as, I guess you could say, demanding in terms of what they have you do uh, at once in order to maximize your, uh, I guess you could say, your efficiency in a single day. Just gonna take a, a one blue and make two right now, because I think that's an efficient thing to do, because we need more blues for the next dungeon. Come here, blues. I got the blues! Yes, I do! Come on. That'll probably be a joke I'm gonna pull back out in the later episodes, because I think that's funny. Anyway. Come here, you. 
Oh, perfect. This, uh, this one we will use the glitch on, because I want to use the glitch on this one. Come on, Omar. Come on, work with me, boy. Work with me, work with me, work with me. Come on, look, look this way, look this way, look this way. Oh, 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 there we go. You make up with that ground, Louis. This is the most attractive piece of ground you've ever seen, you've ever laid eyes on. Louis just a, Louis just a, Louis just a hound dog. He ain't no friend of mine. Anyway, where's the exit? I wish to leave this place immediately, for it is awful and dreadful and makes me sad. Here we go, escape to the surface with your Pikmin, yes sir! Let's get out of here, let's see, what do we, how do we do treasure-wise, friends? Ooh, so many! Four Pikmin lost, cave complete with a total of 9,623 Pokos! Wonderful, that is the number that I had calculated out, friends. Things could not have gotten any more perfect. And with just enough time in the day to make us know that we have 90% of our debt recovered! How wonderful, only 10% of the debt remaining, let alone we only have 400 more Pocos of debt remaining to us, friends. This could not be any more delightful. And, one thing I will do just to ensure that I have the appropriate number of blue Pikmin. Because you all know, I'm not going to deny it, in the next episode, we are going to go and begin the submerged castle. It'll be delightful, it'll be wonderful, it'll probably make me cry. Who knows, I'll probably get scared a lot, but that's not important. Alrighty. Turn all your Pikmin. Alrighty. But, now! Huh. We have over a hundred, friends. This is it. This is going to be perfect. I am mentally prepared. Oh, I'm getting pumped, guys. I'm getting pumped. Let's do this. Let's do laps. Okay, we're doing laps. Come on, Louie. You, you do something new. Okay, well, tomorrow I guess I'll do some laps. One, two, three. Four. Come on, faster, faster, faster! I can't go any faster. Over. Oh, 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 I just threw up. I ran too many. Good, Louie. That's the way it's supposed to be. So let's begin to. We earned 1,315 Pocos. We are almost done the 10,000. This is going to be wonderful. Uh, in terms of Pikmin losses, we lost eight. We lost eight reds, lost three whites, gained, oh my goodness, we gained 61. We gained 61 blues today, my friends. My god. We gained six whites, and we gained two purples. So, overall, net gains were a maximum high, my friends. We could not have gained any more. Today, I tried building a small room at the top of a tree. It reminded me of my younger days when I lived in a little shed. Those memories helped make this bearable. Jeez, these letters are getting so depressing, man. They're making me feel like I... This, the president is enduring these hardships. I can never see them for what they really are. But alrighty, friends. As you can see, the Awakening Wood is done. We never need to go back there ever again. Hoorah! Anyway. Uh, with that, friends. In the next episode of Let's Play Pikmin 2. We will do the do and head towards the perplexing pool and begin the submerged castle, the last dungeon I will be doing for the 10,000 Poco count. As many of you are probably wondering, I am phrasing this as if this is going to be the end of the LP. Heaven forbid anyone not know what lies beyond the game after getting 10,000 Pocos. I will leave it at that, friends. But before I end the episode off, if you haven't done so already, feel free to add me on Skype or follow me on Twitter. Doing either or would make me the happiest man in the world. You'd be putting a smile on my face. And with that, friends, I will see you all in the next episode. I hope you're all having a fantastic day.